IoT is essentially an ecosystem play, which means we need to work with our partners, and Huawei uh, perfectly complement SAP in that way by providing the hardware and the communications to get the data from the devices into our back-end platform. Together, Huawei and SAP work to provide a complete solution in the area of IoT. The partnership works incredibly well because Huawei extracts, first of all, manufactures the device itself, extracts the data, and can provide it to SAP. At which point, we pick that data up, do the analysis on it, are able to provide diagnostics, predictive and prescriptive analytics on top of that data to be able to provide the best possible information for the decision maker uh, at that point in time. Look, if you're going to put together a business case, you need to know you've got a committed supplier and that the product uh, delivers you know, the right value proposition at the right price and that's where Huawei excels. And then in terms of their team, I mean they add a lot of value, the strategic thinking, the customer service, uh, you know, the, the ideation, I mean, they're not just a passive partner, they're not just a box supplier, they actually contribute to the, the, to the process that they want, they want us to be successful. We've worked together with Huawei on a broad list of issues. Um, so one example of that would be in the automotive sphere and using telematics um, to drive improvements from an automotive perspective, from a public transport perspective, uh, from a logistics perspective. Um, so we're, we're seeing broad uh, advantages across many different industries with the same use case or similar use cases. Um, so there's a huge advantage there. One example of that may be uh, using that, the data, the telematics data from a Formula One car to drive the Mercedes-Benz cars faster around a track, at the same time using similar set of technology to ensure that public transport and buses are safer on the road for everybody involved. We're working in the smart city space, so clearly the, uh, the Auckland Council and some of their uh, sister organisations like Auckland Transport and the uh, tourism organisation ATED are very uh, important uh, in, this, in this picture and, and Huawei has had deep engagement across the council family so that is a big, big help. They also uh, uh, carrier agnostic, so they work with all the uh, carriers here in New Zealand, uh, Vodafone, Spark and Two Degrees, so that's a big help. Huawei's commitment to innovation is remarkable. I would say it's unparalleled and we've seen that on a, on a network level but now we're starting to see that in industry verticals uh, like, like, uh, you know, like the smart city. So transportation, the internet of vehicles, smart parking, uh, you know, Huawei is, is going to be key to unlocking those opportunities. So we look at, at, at the business opportunities uh, that, um, for IoT in, in sort of three different ways. Uh, number one, you start with knowing uh, the, the signals that are coming. You understand your processes better. You're actually able to uh, analyze that information and uh, know what's happening on the ground in the process. The second step of that is really to be able to evolve that business process so that you're actually able to make improvements to the existing business process or in fact change the business process because you now know much more about the situation. The third and final and probably the most impactful is actually to transform a business model for an organization. So rather than doing things in a particular way, actually we're able to change the way that that organization is offering its goods to its clients. Well, the reality is that we're really at the infancy um, of, of the whole industry, the whole IoT opportunity. So uh, there's a great uh, opportunity for us to work directly with our clients to ensure that our clients are aware of the exciting things that we're working on and, and make sure that they can reach out to us you know, when they have challenges, when they have questions uh, about IoT in general.